Okay, guys, I'm here today, Fabiano Sharon and the Pega Lab, huge honor for me. Guys, uh, for those who doesn't know Fabiano, uh, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt and he has won probably like more than 10 world titles in the Masters division as a black belt, right, Fabiano? Between Gi and no Gi, yeah, it's, uh, it's above that. Uh, I got a compliment, I think it's 12 or 13 right okay. there. <laughs> and guys, also, he is the jiu-jitsu coach of Chao Sonny, the our American idol in the MMA and, and also grappling. And uh, he, he also like, for one interesting thing about you, you got your black belt in four years, right? Little well, under that, yeah. Three years, 11 three. months from zero to black belt. Uh, oh. The number four fastest black belt in the you know, world. So that's still good. people bully me, like they that's did good. faster, yeah. Oh no, that's that's incredible. And guys, uh, Fabiano just showed an entire structure all about top game attacks. And today he's gonna show us here what he does to perfect the katagatabi. So you guys will see the adjust that he used to perfect the katagatabi submission. So he already showed me and I love it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do it. Great. So katagatabi is one of uh, my uh, highest rate uh, submission from top. And I really like it, you know. Uh, get katagatabi from a lot of different uh, situations. What I see when I uh, uh, try and attack it, it was one of the, the hardest thing, you know, to um, deal with is I need to get like a really good wrap around the, the, the neck, okay? Uh, and a lot of times we have this pocket right here where people have a, a hard time to really, you know, get that slack off, okay? So I'm gonna show you like a little different, uh, it's two different techniques I, I use in there to get uh, away from that uh, and uh, you know that should help you guys you know to perfect your katagaten so the first one uh, I can get in here and right now you can see it's not very tight in there Bernardo can can feel that okay so it's not tight as much as I, I can put like all the pressure in here but it's still not might be enough because that side right there is not doing you know what you need okay so one of my techniques is to go under the head with my left hand, right? And I try always not to be like too, uh, um, uh, not give too much space here. I always try like really my head, you know, either be, you know, touching his forehead or close enough, okay? But I get my left hand, you know, underneath his head. I'm gonna move that head up and I'm gonna push my arm across, sinking. And now you can see there's no room in there. And that's when I get like a, the blade of my, my arm underneath, my thumb up, right? And then I can start squeezing. It's super tight. So my my goal is uh, the target is my chin on his eye socket right there. So when you're there and squeezing, I should do it. Yeah. One more time, Fabiano. So, so I'm right there, okay? Yeah. I lift the head, yeah. push the arm across. Then I get that gable grip, but I keep my thumb up. Okay. Right? Now I turn my head towards him, I'm looking down at him, and I try to get my uh, jaw right in his eye socket, and then I squeeze. Oh, that's super, super tight. So yeah. wait a second, so the key here is to put your chin over almost like my eye, kind mm -hmm. of, Yeah. and keep your thumb up. These are Great. the two different things that you're doing. Yeah, because if I have my arm like that, it gets kind of flat, it's yeah. not the same. Doing that, I get the hard part underneath your neck. Oh, yeah. So, oh, that's incredible. Yeah. How did you develop that? Because, I mean, like, uh, through the years, you know, like a uh, missing. I got a <laughs> solution, you missing, know, trying to get missing, the best. Figure out and then, uh, even then, you know, the, the second technique I'm going to show right now is uh, a little easier and gets even tighter than this one because I started having trouble as well, you know, as you at the gym and you're rolling and you, you know, start getting here. You know, so I tried to go in there and these guys, they're, you know, waiting for the momentum to escape, right? Because I have to move. So on this next one, I don't really have to do all of any of that, okay? The concept on this one is, so I have that, it's not, I'm not getting, getting uh, any better in here on this side, okay? Getting that uh, room cover. So I'm there, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a deep step on that way. I'm gonna lift his head a little bit and I'm going to extend my arm. And when I do that, so when I come back, I gotta come back like pulling the arm that way, okay? It gets super tight then, 
to the point where they tap like a lot quicker than any other uh, katagatame I've seen so far. Okay, so again, we're here. I'm gonna do like deep step, a lift, extend the arm. Now I pull this way. See, it's super tight. Oh my god, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, this one goes pretty quick. That's good. And when you decide which one you're gonna use, if you're gonna use the second one or the first one. Um, there's uh, not a, de a decision that you can you can really pick, but I've been using the second one more often now because it's uh, it's uh, the setup is quicker. I got it. So uh, that's why I'm being used that more often. I got so it. two different setups, yeah, both should work if you can, you know, uh, uh, get it all the way to the 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 the, the end. But this last one, you know, especially in no gi, works super yeah. quick, you know. But one thing, guys, you gotta like really, is when I, uh, you're going to do the deep step, don't let, you know, this room in here, okay? Again, you gotta be pretty tight in there. When you extend your arm, don't come back in here, you see? You're gonna go there. Now, I have the S grip, I pull my arm around, you see? That's already tight in there, but now you can yeah. tell, right? Yeah. It's super tight, right? So pull all the way, go super tight. And when you move in here and you sink that, be done. Okay, right. and this, this one was even worse because you had your shoulder over my nose and my mouth. So even if I, I could resist the choke, I would be mm -hmm. smothered there. Yeah. So that's incredible. There's a, uh, another little piece in there where you can, uh, so sometimes you know they're gonna resist in here and they can't do it uh i can't do it so where i come back a little bit and i sink my shoulder underneath his uh jaw okay yeah. so that's a it's a very small detail in there but it helps so i'm going there again when i coming back in here i move back a little good you see and then you go ah <laughs> super super tight yeah. Oh so that God. might get the neck crank as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, yeah, so guys, we are just showing the entire structure all about attacks from the top. So from side control, from half guard, from your belly. And it's coming out super, super, super cool. So make sure to check that out. It's going to be at bjjfanatics.com. And uh, maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.